Hey, this is Bishop George Johnson Jr. with your midday motivation. Get him up, get him up. It's Monday! Woo! It's Monday, baby. It's a little rainy and windy, but it's still Monday. This is another opportunity to live your dream and to step into your purpose. Guys, this Hurricane Irma has taught me three important lessons, and I've titled this, What Irma Has Taught Me. Number one, it taught me that when storms of life come, and they will, nobody is immune from them, challenges are going to happen. Are you talking about the storm, or are you talking about solutions? I remember as this hurricane was approaching, for days upon days upon days, everybody was focusing on the storm. It wasn't until the last minute people began to focus on solutions and how to find help and how to evacuate, how to get gas. When storms of life hit you, do you talk about the storm or do you talk about solutions? How are you going to come out of it? One of my favorite speakers, Les Brown, says this. Don't tell people about your problems. 80% of the people don't care and 20% glad it's you. So don't talk about the storm. You need to talk about solutions, how you're going to come out of the storm. Number two, the second thing this hurricane taught me is this. Do you have a safety plan? In other words, when storms happen to you and tragedy and difficulty happen, do you have a plan on how you're going to come out of it or do you just react to what life throws at you? I'll tell you a great plan you can do. All you gotta do is go and, and uh, listen to my uh, YouTube station. I have all kinds of teachings on there on how to come out of storms, how to come out of situations, how to keep on fighting. Just log on, just register, that's all you gotta do. But the most important thing, if it's not my station, have something in place for when life throws its best punch at you, and it will, you need to have a plan in place, a safety plan on how you're going to rebound. The third thing I learned, and perhaps the most important thing, is that you sometimes, life is just going to be too big for you to handle. And you're gonna to have to learn how to put your life and something that's bigger than you. One of my favorite stories says this, there was a little boy who did some chores around the house and his father gave him 25 cents. And just like every little boy, he took that 25 cents, went down to the store. And when he walked in, he saw a big sign that said, you can get a handful of candy for just 25 cents. The little boy said, this is my lucky day. He gave the store clerk his 25 cents. The store clerk put the candy down, but the little boy did something different. He said, I want you to get the candy for me. The store clerk said, no, you can get your own candy for just 25 cents. The little boy said, no, I want you to get it for me. So reluctantly, the store clerk reached down, grabbed a handful of candy and put it on the counter and began to bag it for the little boy. As she was bagging it, she asked him, she said, why do you want me to get the candy? He said, because your hands are bigger than my hands and I can get more candy with your hands than I can with my hand. Sometimes life challenges, difficulties are going to happen. It's just too big for you to handle. It's too huge for you to carry. The burden is too heavy. You gotta learn how to put it in something that's bigger than you. One of my favorite scriptures says this, cast your cares upon me. Not because I'm concerned, but because I truly care for you. Your God is bigger than anything that you are going through and walking through. Guys, stay safe. Anchor down. It's just about over. The sun will be out tomorrow. God bless you. We'll see you on tomorrow.